Hey guys, welcome back to the fitness vlog. <laughs> so, Blair and I are at our pool for the first time, which is really cool because we haven't been down here. Look how cute she is. <laughs> but um, it turns out that I'm too fat for my bathing suit. <laughs> so I'm wearing gym shorts. It's okay, I'm wearing shorts too for other reasons because, you know. Why are you wearing shorts? They don't want I'm wearing shorts and I'm looking about it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so I really got to get this fitness journey on track so I can fit into my pink bathing suit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to go swim. Show me a cool swimming move. I don't really know how to swim. I just doggy paddle. <laughs> you don't know how to swim? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you come over here and show me that? But I used to know how to swim. I know. That's the thing. Oh. I'm ruining my extension here. Oh yeah. I love this pool. This is great. Yeah, it's like living at a hotel. Yeah. Stick your foot out of the water. Uh uh. What? Oh my. <laughs> So I just made a really unhealthy dinner and I'm freaking myself out because I had some chest tightness, some pain in my chest and I'm really freaked out by it and it's been happening the last few days. I can like barely breathe right now and I'm really freaking out. Ask Blair, first I've been all, pacing. First of all, you can barely breathe because you're freaking yourself out <sighs> and you're pacing. Like you're fine, you're making yourself scared. Like, this is no joke. I've had these weird pains in my chest, and Blair says I'm gonna be probably okay, but... It's not about being probably okay. You are okay. The fact is, though, you should take this as a sign that the way you eat is extremely unhealthy, and that even if it's not an issue right now, your lifestyle and the way you eat, that is the only future that you have, is diabetes, is heart disease, is shit like that. And I, tr I try really hard you know, to get you to understand that a lot of the food choices you make you think are okay but aren't. And I'm not perfect either. But, you know, you have to make a conscious decision that the way you're living is not good for you, is not good for us, and fix it. No more jokes about how it's a fitness vlog with no fitness. Like, really do... Honestly, more important than even fitness, because you actually do work out. It's what you eat. It's like... The other day, yeah, I work out like almost every day. The other day we did Runyon Canyon, which took us an hour and a half to hike. We're sweating. It was a good workout. We come back, you ordered a large pizza. You canceled the canyon out and then some. It's all about what you eat. I think I'm like finally scared enough to like it, you should actually be, like, eat better. Because I work out, but like, it's I'm not seeing anything. If anything, I'm getting fatter. Because it's what you eat. It's what you eat. We can work out or whatever, but then you come home and order a pizza and it's like you completely cancel it out. You're not even at an equilibrium where you're staying the same weight because one's canceling the other out. You're at a point where I'm gaining. You're weight. eating so badly that no matter how hard you work out, it's not helping you at all. And I'm working out hard too, so I'm exactly. like, this is like fucking shitty. Yeah. So with the food, you have to get it the fuck under control. And I can only do so much because you're at work more than I'm with you. You work all day long. You can eat whatever you want. At work, I eat good though. I actually eat sa I eat salads wow. or shakes. Think about how yesterday at the pool you were feeling self-conscious. Think about how you're feeling these chest pains, which in my opinion are not what you think they are. But what's well, weird? It's tight. It's like this weird, like like tightness that I've well, never really experienced before. More importantly than that, even if it's not due to your eating, what you're feeling in your chest or whatever, what you need to understand is that eventually you will be feeling that and worse because of how you eat. Like, do you see anyone? This is just being so real. Do you see anyone, your weight that is 70, that is 80, that is 90? Well, because you lose weight when you get old, right? Isn't that... No. People that are overweight just don't live that long. You don't lose weight. You don't suddenly naturally hit 70 and drop 55 pounds. You get diabetes. You get heart disease. You get cancer by the time you hit Holy 50, shit, 60. you're right. Yeah. <laughs> This is not 
have like behind ears. Oh yeah, where do you even stick it? <laughs> Why are you putting it on me? Nana. <laughs> she She's like, I'm here to exercise, not do a photo shoot. So this is our last hike before we go to New York. <laughs> yes, and we're not going to be able to work out in New York. And we're probably going to be eating unhealthy, so this is important. You're just, you're just uh, making that like a premonition right there. We could eat healthy while on vacation. Nah, let's not. Well, we could, but the really reality is we're probably not going to. I want some New York pizza. What else do they make in New York? What's the New York stuff? I'm not eating pizza over there. Yeah, we are. It's New York. They have That's, like the best pizza. Ew, don't be like a zombie. What? What are you talking don't be about? A zombie. What do you mean a zombie? That's why I call people who feel like they have to do things because other people do them. Oh, like people that come to California and like they have to try in and out? Yeah, like, oh my god. You know who I'm talking about. We have to go to in and out burger. It's like. And that shit kind of sucks. I don't even like in and out. It doesn't suck. It's just really standard. Yeah. Like, you're getting me from a really stupid, ugly angle. I can't it. Look at those titties. But yeah, we're going to go to New York and we don't know what to expect. <laughs> And uh, it's gonna be really fun. We're gonna leave uh, Bella with Auntie Rachel, and uh, that should be fine too. <laughs> okay, let's hike. Welcome back to the fitness vlog. So everything's awesome, and uh, I'm at work. This is what work is. It's like, where is it? It's like models and stuff. It's really great. So I got to meet Blair at the airport in just a little bit. So we're kind of cut it kind of close let's see I think we're wrapping here at like 5 30 and uh, I got to be at the airport by like 7 so I don't know it's kind of tight but we're gonna have a whole New York trip it's gonna be super fun I'm excited Thank you. Look how nice these apartments are. God, just living the dream. Just rollerblading around, living in one of these sick houses. Dude, I love these places. Look, that guy's just got a rock, just hanging. Like, why? I love it. He's just next to a regular apartment with like Punisher chairs. Man, what a chill day. There's my little team. I'm clearly doing the most work here. And we're here at the airport. Look how happy she is. Jesus, really? That's for 30 seconds. If you want me for longer than 30 seconds, I'm gonna need, um, it skyrockets actually to 100 now. Okay, we're just gonna cut it off right here then. It's 29 seconds, 30 seconds. What's going on? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, babe. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Slater, nobody knows who you are. <laughs> That's me, super embarrassing. So let's, uh, let's get to know the panel a little bit, and then we're going to open up the questions uh, from you all. But please tell your stories. Uh, hey, Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> Nazis. Gay Nazis, black Nazis, Jewish Nazis. I feel like you should say that's a joke. <laughs> a joke for those fuckers at Out Magazine. Yeah. Yeah. You know this is going in the fitness vlog, yeah, I, right? I hope so. <laughs> what, what's your biggest fitness thing, Emma? Uh, long distance running is the way to go. Long distance? That's what I feel. Like endurance? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. As long as you can't go. Okay. Bye, Joey. Bye. <laughs> hey. <laughs>
They're not going to let me speak to you. They don't believe in free speech. But if you believe in free speech, you will tell them not to let you take me away. Did you see that? What did he, what did he, what did he say? I don't know. It's some like serial killer shit. Yeah. Dude, go back to your dungeon. <laughs> yeah, for real. So I just had the best night ever with Blair and her friends. I'm taking a pee in a bathroom that strangely resembles some kind of cruise ship. But I just want to let everybody know that I am not some sort of racist or a crazy person or whatever. And I just got interviewed by some crazy person that was at Blair's event and pissed me off. So... <laughs> I ran up and talked to this said person and probably got taken out of context hella bad. So I just want to let everybody know that I'm there defending Blair and I'm in some weird bathroom now and that's just like how life goes, you know? So good! And then you gotta dip it in the blue cheese! I don't know what it is. I've actually never had blue cheese! Oh, well try the blue cheese, brother! You've never tasted blue cheese in your life? So good. And we're back. So now we are at WAG, which is the what dog is it? Hotel. Dog Hotel. We're bringing Bella. She's gonna do her stay in dog prison. Aren't you excited? Yeah. She hates being here, but we're gonna be away for the day at an event. So I just feel like I don't want to leave her in the house by herself. So we're going to Swan Fest, which is a musical festival in Anaheim. Mm -hmm. And um, Bella has to stay here. <laughs> Sorry, Bella. And who, who are we seeing at Swan Fest? Um, there's only one band I'm really a fan of, which is Dance Gavin Dance, and the guitarist gave us VIP tickets, so that's cool. That's um, super cool. So we'll check out the other ones too, but yeah. I'm excited. All right. That looks really pretty. You look really hot in this. Bye, Bella. Bye. Bye, big girl. <laughs> bye, yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> She's oh so God, popular. They all love her. Look at them all She's trying to get to her. So popular. They're gonna like jump her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, they're gonna hide us now. Hi. Hi. Maybe she can make some friends. Oh my God. Look at her. <laughs> oh my God. Aww. I want to see what they do. I want to like play with them. Yeah, how much can... Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> she... <laughs> that is the funniest shit. Uh-oh. Where'd she go? She's running. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> no. She's trying to get help. Yeah. I can just, tell. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to the vlog. So we are here at Swan Fest, and we're here to listen to some emo rock. And I am super excited. No rap at all. I said emo rock. It's rock, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's live music. So it's we just had. To do on a Saturday. I'm so excited. This is gonna be really fun. We're gonna meet the band. Everything is gonna be great. We just had a few drinks at Hooters. That was your first time at Hooters. It wasn't that sexual, was it? No. Yeah. No, it wasn't. They had boobs, but you know, it doesn't make it crazy. Anyway, we're about to walk in, try to get in VIP <laughs> somehow. Here we go. 
Welcome back to the vlogs over here with... What's your vlog called? It's Joey's Fitness Vlog, so I do fitness. How do you stay fit? You go to Whole Foods, you go to co-op, you get the flaxseed stuff, you get the everything that doesn't taste as good, and you're good. Right. That sounds good. That sounds good. It is how you do it. What what, what band are you in? Because you're famous, and we're here. Playing Dance, Gavin Dance, and Wolf Bear. Aye. Aye. The less famous band. <laughs> that's so, no, seriously, that's like so hot right now. And you play bass? Yeah, and there's Blair. This, this is how I get anybody to watch the vlog. It's like, I get Blair in the background. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that, that that's my brand is I'm Blair's boyfriend, so like I get Blair in the background and now I get That's a good I brand. I would take that brand too, man. If yeah, it wants it's, me to be their boyfriend in the so, back of the vlog. Somebody's gotta do it, dude. <laughs> Hey, but you're the fucking man. I Thanks, really man. appreciate literally appreciate everything it. that we're doing. I'm right glad right. I'm on this vlog. This Thank is you. Sick. This is sick. Swan Fest uh, 2019. 2019. Wow, what a fucking night. So Blair got to meet her rock star dreamboat friends, and I'm here at the WAG Hotel picking up my daughter. Where is my dog?